Hey no family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you all are well. I am back with a, another video and in this video I'm going to be doing an six ombre rainbow Louis Vuitton inspired set. Also, at some point in this video, I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners to the giveaway that I held with the silicone practice hands, so stay tuned. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to be, as always, using Nail House's size 16 Kalinsky brush as well as their Pro Monomer. I'm going to be using a bunch of different glitters from Dynamic No Supply, those being their number 6, 13, 12, 9, 11, and 7 from one of their glitter collections. I also do have on Nail House's 3XL tapered square tips. However, I did cut them down at first, but I didn't realize that I'm going to be doing a bunch of different colors for ombre so that they need to be a little bit longer. So I went ahead and double tipped a little bit anyone interested in shopping nail house can find the link to their site in the description below and use my code portia for savings as well as i will link the glitter collection from dynamic in the description below totally forgot clearly as well i'm going to be using mia secrets cover pink that is this nude here again mia secrets cover pink i'm going to be using that for my two um the middle fingernail and the ring fingernails to create an uh, acrylic french also for acrylic Frenches, I always do recommend that when you're doing them to start um, like not at the cuticle area but below and then build up to the cuticle area just because I feel like it's easier that way and you can build as you go. And as well, you want to make sure that this part is a little bit thick just so that when you file, you're able to catch on to the acrylic without it slipping so much. Like sometimes for me, it does slip like inevitably. Um, just because sometimes I don't feel like building it up too thick. Um, for this nail set in particular, I wanted the glitter acrylic color to really, really show. I did a practice nail and I saw that me encapsulating and putting like too much clear acrylic over it made the colors not pop so much. So for this, this time around, like on my actual hand, I wanted to make sure that the colors pop so I did a very, when encapsulating, you all will see that I did a very thin layer of, um... A very thin layer of clear acrylic and i built up the clear or not the clear i built up the glitter acrylic um like pretty much to match the same height or whatever as the nude if that makes sense just so that i didn't have to go in so much with the clear acrylic and also none of it really had to be perfect because you're gonna file anyway um like for me only the part that has to be perfect for me or at least close to perfect um is when i'm filling in the bottom area is because um and that's like just me um because i don't like to do too much fouling after you know going in and doing this nude part and then you all will see that i do file this nude part just the like perimeter of it and then i um fill in the bottom of that you know like blank space or empty space with or negative space whatever you want to call it <laughs> the bottom that's clear the tip um very carefully just so that i don't have to go in and file that um again if that makes sense like i file after i go ahead and place my clear acrylic and encapsulate and then i file then i don't like to do too much filing after filing the um base french part of it the nude if that makes sense so yeah Also meant to mention earlier, I wanted to apologize to the girls who were um, waiting for me to post this video today, or by the time you all see this, it will be yesterday. Um, because I was supposed to post this video Tuesday, but then something had came up where I wasn't able to finish editing it Monday. Um, however, it pretty much worked out because today is July 4th, and you all know, I don't, well, some of y'all know, I don't celebrate holidays, but it is July 4th. And um, it, it kind of worked out because I know that most of you all will probably be with your families and things like that today and pretty be pretty busy. So, yeah, um, it worked out that I posted today instead. But, yeah, I'm sorry to the girls I told over on Instagram because someone asked when I upload this set and I said tomorrow, which would have been the fourth, um, but it ended up not happening. And some of y'all may have seen that I said that I posted. So I'm just sorry to the ones who were expecting it. It's all. Um, but we're here now and it's okay. Also, I did tell you all that I would go live by Tuesday. But totally forgot that, again, Tuesday is a holiday. I do not celebrate holidays. But um, 
I will be going live soon this week for sure, y'all. So just bear with your girl. And without further rambling, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy this application. All right, y'all. So I forgot that I didn't immediately go in after applying that nude part and foul. Um, I did go ahead and start with applying the glitter ombre. Um, but at a point, I did stop and go ahead and shape up those, you know, like base French parts. Um, but I'm going to start with these glitters, y'all. And these glitters are just so beautiful. Like, I wanted to keep the summer vibe going. And like, I've been doing like rainbow vibe nails lately. And I thought these are really, really cute um set to do the set was so fun and as you all will see i'm going to be doing the ombre starting with the purple overlapping and ending with the pink and it's going to be the same for every nail also i want to say that i'm so sorry that if you all hear any like music in the background my neighbors are kind of like playing music really loud um it's fourth of july and everybody's partying but i wanted to edit this video for you all and yeah by any means so yeah you might not even hear it but it's like probably really faint in the background if you got like hawk hearing ears or is the saying hawk eyes you you all know what i mean like if you can hear like really well <laughs> anyway
all right that's how our first note is looking it is so beautiful uh love it um and it's even more beautiful once encapsulated in matte acrylic not matte acrylic matte top coat over it like so beautiful but anyway i'm gonna move on to the next nose and you all will see me alternate between nails just so like like kind of skip um just so like the nail that i was previously working on can dry a little bit before um you know continue on with the ombre so that the colors didn't like get mixed or whatever if you know what i mean so yeah y'all these acrylic french nails came out so beautifully like once i was done with the set or like done doing that part i'm like i should have done all of these this like the with the french but i think the full ombre nails were cute as well but the acrylic french with the glitter ombre was like really doing something to me like they were so beautiful but yeah
when I was telling you all that I'm really, really careful with the bottom part, like this is really what I'm referring to. I do not like to go in and file at all after this point here until I have um, until I have fully encapsulated the nails. That is when I file like the entire nail. I do not like to go ahead, go in back in and file again once applying the bottom part. So I do this very, very carefully and as neat as possible. I am living for this. Y'all, colors are so fun. I'm super excited that we're in the summer season. I have so many, like, summer designs in mind. It's ridiculous. Like, I had to literally write them down um, in my notes or I literally forget. Um, yeah, I have so many in mind. Like, so many to do. It's like, I wish I could go faster. But your girl is not a robot. So, I be trying, y'all. I be trying. And I'm definitely going live very soon to do those duck nails that you all want me to do so bad. Um... So yeah, stay tuned for that. Also, the next video after this one will be a recreation set that I'm super excited for as well. I saw this super bomb set that I recreated. Um, also, I do want to mention or remind you all, because someone asked me in a live before. I just don't remember who it was, and I'm sorry, girl. But one of my subscribers asked me if, like, I could do some type of, like, series or just, like, in general, if you all were to send me sets that you all created and I recreated them. I thought it would be super dope. Like, I think that's super dope. And if you all, you know, want to send me your sets that you've done on yourself and want me to recreate them, always, always, my Instagram DMs are open. You all can send me a message at Portia Nelden. Um, on Instagram or even if you don't have Instagram you can email me as well at portionnoted at gmail.com um, but I'd love to recreate you all sets if you all want me to so yeah that would be super dope all right so as you all can see we've moved into encapsulating the nails I am using Mia Secrets clear acrylic it is just in this nail house jar and like I told you all I just applied or encapsulate these really like not as thick as I normally would because um if you apply I found that if you apply or at least in this case with these glitters if you apply too much um acrylic or clear acrylic over top like the colors won't pop as much i guess because it'll look like cloud more cloudy and like farther away if that makes sense so like i just did a much thinner layer than i normally would do um on top of these to encapsulate and it definitely worked out and after that we're going to move into shaping and filing Alrighty y'all, this is how we are looking after encapsulating. These are like so beautiful. I was mesmerized by these when I was doing them. They also kind of give me like mermaid vibes a little bit. But anyway, this is how we are looking. They're super bomb. And I just knew at this point I wanted these to be matte. Like they had to be matte. 
this looks so cool but moving on into shaving and filing next and as always i like to recommend that if you all haven't seen or you know didn't know i have a shaving tutorial video full in depth i do have one on my channel you can actually find the link to it in the description below as well as some other like um core videos down there as well like application and different little videos that i like you know most people ask for from me All right, y'all, that's how we're looking after not all the way shaped and filed, but I'm going to go in next with my e-file and go ahead and define underneath the nails, then file the tips, then lastly, sew my cuticles, and then move on to buffing and cleaning, and then we're going to move into the designs. Also, for anyone wondering, I use this bit every single time, and it is a 5-in-1 carbide drill bit in the grid. Extra fine that I get from Amazon. It is actually linked in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description below.
all right y'all this is how we're looking and some people ask me like what is like what do i spray on the nails and i realized that i never like really mentioned it but it's just alcohol you all it's always alcohol i just spray to wipe the nails off but moving on into the nail design i'm going to be creating of course like a louis vuitton inspired look and i have these stickers here that i've had for ages from nail prints and i actually went back on their like instagram and saw that they i guess like stopped selling these stickers or like just like i don't know if it's i think it may be temporarily but don't get me to lying um but i used to get all of my like nail stickers from them back in the day like all of my designer ones and things like that so that's that's what um uh these are from and the only thing i don't care um for like these stickers about about these stickers are that they are kind of thick they're not like on the thinner side which i'd prefer in stickers but i got these like i said ages ago so they was fine with me um when i got them because it was pretty much the only place i could find these like um like just these like he, like in bulk stickers basically not in bulk but you all know what i'm trying to say hopefully um so it's kind of difficult to get them really pressed down on the nail and like thin out if that makes sense not thin out but like flat um it's not that difficult but they can like pop up which is annoying but if they were thinner they wouldn't if that makes sense but anyway i'm gonna go in um with my tweezers and place these like randomly um and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch that process So this is how we're looking so far and I'm going to go ahead and apply some dynamic nail supplies and matte top coat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that because these are like if you leave the stickers alone too long they're, they'll try to like lift off. So I'm going to go ahead and seal them down with some top coat um, so that they don't lift and then I'll like continue on and do the same thing to the remaining. All right, y'all. So this is the part where I'm going to insert the giveaway winners to the silicone practice hands. There were two winners they're going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and use my little generator to go ahead and generate the comments and pick the winner at random. You know, you will, some of you all know who normally like, you know, see my giveaways. Know that I like to use a generator to keep it fair for everyone so that, you know. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and pop it up on the screen and we're going to get started. So our first winner is, drumroll, Unique Creations. Congratulations to you, girl. You have won one of the silicone practice hands. And our second winner for the other silicone practice hand is, Hydea. Hey, Hydea, girl. Pretty Hydea 27, aka Hydea. Hey, girl. Congratulations to both of our winners. Thank you to everyone who joined. I'm going to ask that the giveaway winners go ahead and shoot me a message via Instagram at portionelded or Gmail at portionelded at gmail.com. So go ahead and claim your prize. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you all 72 hours to claim your prize, or unfortunately, I have to choose another winner. Not only am I going to go ahead and and you know announce winners in this video but i'm also making a post so that everyone you know so that you all can see um 
But moving on, this is how we are looking with the nails almost complete. Loving the matte. I went ahead and applied um, Dynamic Nail Supplies matte top coat. And now we're going to move on into the bling. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to do bling or not. Simply because I didn't want to do too much and, you know, take away from the design. But I went ahead and decided to add a little bit of bling. We're going to put the bling using McCard's Rhinestone Glue. This has been my fave lately. So that's what we're going to do. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me do this. All right, you all, this is how we are looking. I am loving them so much. They're so beautiful. And wait until my final footage results because this camera right here is really not even doing them justice and they hit even more in the sun. All right, you all, this is how we are looking. They came out so beautiful. I love them so much. And the matte and just everything, it just they hit in the sun as well. Like, I just love them. Definitely one of my favorite summer sets that I've done so far. I also did include some photos with no bling. Comment in the comment section below if you like it, bling or no bling. Also, spam the comments with some rainbow emojis. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already ready and turn on your bell notifications so that I notify each and every single time that I post a new video. Also, if you recreate this set, go ahead and tag me on Instagram at portionnailed it so that I can show some love and repost. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.